Hi, I'm on the trail system that runs along the campus of Trees for Tomorrow in Eagle River, Wisconsin. I don't know how many of you have walked this trail, but it is a beauty. And some of the secrets that this trail holds is that there once used to be this talking tree. And when visitors came, the tree would talk to them and tell them all about the history of logging in Wisconsin and how trees are used to make all kinds of products that we use today to build homes and use it for paper and all that kind of fun stuff. But you know what happened? Somehow this tree has lost its voice. And so we brought an arborist on site to see if he could help fix this tree. What a beauty. Oh, hi. My name is Jamie Remy. I'm a certified arborist. This tree is 135 feet tall and 34 inches in diameter, which is amazing. And we've used this tree in the past to help educate young and old on the importance of the working relationship of a forest community. And the beauty about this tree is that it was a talking tree. And unfortunately, this talking tree has lost its voice. And I'm an arborist, but that's just something I can't fix. So what we're looking for is your help to bring this tree's voice back to help educate about the importance of trees and how they work in their natural community. Hey, I'm Cheryl, the executive director at Trees for Tomorrow. Just wanted to say thank you to Jamie, our arborist friend, for coming out to help us fix the talking tree and to thank everyone, all of you in the community, for helping us to make that happen. You can help give back our Talking Trees voice by making a donation at treesfortomorrow.com and clicking the red donate button in the upper right hand corner.